In this Autodesk Maya tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can quickly make a field of grass over a hill. We're going to use Maya paint effects, then convert those paint effects to polygons, and then use a mash network to put the polygons all over a hill. First, let's create our hill. We can go ahead and grab a plane, press R on the keyboard, scale the plane up. Then we can go to the attribute editor and under polyplane 1, we can change the subdivisions to 100 by 100. Then we can go to sculpting and we can select the foam brush. To change the scale of the brush, hold B and then left drag or right drag with your mouse. To change the strength, hold M and left and right drag. Then with the foam brush, I can just paint in some hills. And then on this particular hill, I'm going to delete the history. And then I'm going to label this as ground. Next, I'll press H on my keyboard to hide it. And then I'll go to Generate, Get Brush. There are all kinds of brushes in Maya, but I'm going to go to Grasses, and then I'm going to select Grass Bermuda. Then I'm going to zoom into the middle here, and I'm just going to click and drag a little bit. Now it's created some grass. If I go to Arnold and I add a Sky Dome, and then I go Arnold, Arnold Render View, and I render, nothing shows up. That's because Arnold can't render paint effects. To fix this, we can go to the Outliner, select our stroke, and then go to Modify, Convert, Paint Effects to Polygons. Now if I go to Arnold, Arnold Render View, and I render, we can see our grass. So one thing we want to do before we do anything else is change the shader. This shader works, but we can go ahead and put an AI standard surface shader on this. So I'll stop this render. But we can make it better by going to the hypershade and editing the base materials. So if I click on grass Bermuda leaf right here, and then I go ahead and I right click graph network, click in the graph network, type tab and type AI standard and we can click AI standard surface, and then we can take this ramp out color, and then we can plug it right into the base color. Then we can delete the old shading group. Now we have this new standard surface shader, and we'll call it grass leaf shader. And then we can just turn the specular down to zero so it's not shiny. Then we'll go back to our outliner, and we'll select the leaf, and then we'll right click, assign material to selection. Then we'll do the same thing for the main shader. So we'll select it, right click graph network. Then we'll go ahead and click in the graph network, type tab, then AI standard, click surface. Then we can grab the ramp color from there, plug it right into the base color, lower the specular. We can delete the old shader. And then we can label this grass shader. And then we need to select the grass main, right click, Assign Material to Selection. And then we can go Arnold, open Arnold Render View, and then we can render. So now we have much brighter grass that works with the Arnold shaders, and then we can edit this as you need. Now, if we du duplicate this many times, it's going to become very process intensive. So we can make something called an Arnold stand-in, and that way we can duplicate it many times. So what I'm going to do is select this mesh group. I can go ahead and delete the history. And if I press W, you'll notice that I have a pretty centered point. So that's good. If your point is not centered, press D and then move your pivot point to the middle and then press D again. Next, I'll go to Arnold and then under Scene Export, I can export the selection to ASS. I'll type grass and then export selection. Now I can hide this group. So now I don't see my group and then I can bring back my ground. So I'll select the ground in the outliner and press shift H and now I have my ground again. Now that I have my ground back, I'll go to Arnold, stand in, click the little box, then I'll select grass, load. And if you look here, I have a little stand in that's the bounded box of that grass. So then I can select that stand in, and then I can go to the effects menu, click mash, then create mash network, 
Make sure you select Instancer and then Apply. Then we can select the MASH network, go to the Attribute Editor, and then under the Distribute node, instead of Linear, we can do Mesh. It asks us what mesh, so I have to middle mouse button drag the ground to the input mesh. Now I have ground shape, and then you can see my Arnold stand-ins are here. So I can increase the number of points to something like 10,000. And now I have grass everywhere. And if I do a quick render, now you can see that I have this field of grass that renders pretty quickly, yet is just instances and stand-ins from Arnold and the MASH network. Let's stop this and then go ahead and add in some randomness. So here, what we can do is click Use Face Area, and it'll distribute them more, so right here in the MASH network. Then if we click on MASH 1, we can click on Random, then add a random node. And then we can just add some scale in the Y direction random, so we have different height of grass, scale them left and right. We can rotate them a bit in the Y direction. And then we can go back to MASH Distribute. You can increase this even more if you want, say, 20,000 instances. And then we can go to Arnold, open Arnold Render View, and then Render. And then you can see quickly we have a field of grass renderable in Arnold with paint effects from Maya using the MASH network. Hopefully you can make a field of grass very quickly using paint effects and MASH. Happy 3D modeling.